Good morning. Whew. Crazy here. It is uh, August 7th at 10 minutes of 9. My staff's going to be here in about 20 minutes, so I wanted to pop on here real quick and fix this a little bit. There we go. Ah! Hello. Okay. How did everybody make out during COVID? Um, I'm here at my shop, Little Rascals Consignment Shop, Easton, Maryland. We did pretty good. We opened, uh, we were the first wave of op that opened at half capacity, which is fine because my building holds like 75 people. So I never really have more than at the most 20 people here at a time. It's not big. So, you know, everybody's been polite. Everybody's been following protocol, wearing their masks. Uh, we sanitize everything every morning, but that's not what I'm here for. So everything's been great on that front because someone did ask me about that. Um, I've, I've had, you know, I have that, those recipes that I offer up to people. If you want the recipes that I have, you can email me at kkrascals, which is Carrie Coleman, my initials, rascals, my shop, kkrascals at gmail.com. Isn't that cute? Oh, got some lily up there on the wall. That's a whole bowl bag, summer hat, got lots of new shoes. Anyhow along with requesting the recipes a lot of people have asked me a couple questions and i'm really you know i will give you my opinion but i am not your coach so um anything that i offer up here please check it check the facebook i mean the um the website check with your coach if they don't know they'll check with their coach i just don't really want to like step on any toes or get any Buddy's information, you know, they, they uh, you know what I mean? People can be crappy. It's the way of life. So there are four cornerstones, in my opinion, that make this program productive or successful. That these are the four cornerstones um, that I have found. So I'm gonna whip through them pretty quick because I hate for someone to come walking in here when I'm doing this. You're like, what are you doing? Anyhow, the first one is um, your first, I got my notes, your first feeling. Your first feeling in the morning, say you get up at 6.30, you have to start your first feeling by 7.30. You don't have to chow it down. It doesn't have to be devoured within a certain amount of time. I would say, you know, like an hour. Like, for instance, this is coffee mixed with the mocha shake and I just poured it over ice. That was at seven o'clock this morning. It's now nine. I'll finish this probably as soon as this is over and I'm scheduled for my next fueling at 9, 30, 10. So, you know, you, you, it doesn't have to be, oh, I can't eat this right now. If you know you're gonna be busy during the day, well, we'll get to that later. So your first fueling within the first hour of waking up. If you're on any kind of medication, check with your coach and your doctor, like for instance, thyroid. Some people take it the night before, some people take it in the morning. So have it next to your bed, take your medication first thing, wait the allotted amount of time, and then start your first fueling. Even if it's just a bite, like you get up in the morning, you take a bite, you go get a shower, do your hair, go cut the grass, whatever, come back if, and just, it has to be finished before the next one's scheduled to begin. So there you go. What I was going to say is there's a lot of teachers and nurses that can't just sit down and eat every two and a half hours, or they're gonna be in a meeting. If you know this ahead of time, break up a bar, put it in a Ziploc bag, stick it in your pocket, or even just a piece of it in your pocket. And it's time for you to take a little, um, to have a fueling, just take that little bite, pop it in, and then when you are free, go back and finish it easy. I say that. Like a lot of teachers will put it in their drawer of their desk, but now, you know, they don't have that problem because it might be virtual. Virtual! <sighs> I'm glad not to be home with my husband all day. Love him, but, you know, he works from home all the time. He's a caretaker, so he's there all the time. It's the reverse of a normal situation because he stays home and I work, so I kind of nice during the day. I can call and say, hey, take that burger out of the freezer, take those steaks out of the freezer, or, you know, do this, do that, check this, um, honeydew. But he's a very busy guy. Anyway, the second cornerstone 
is your timings. Once you have that first bite of that first fueling in the morning, you set your alarm for every two and a half hours. I use my phone. Some people use the Habits of Health app, but I think they're still working out some kinks on that. Or there's an app called EatWise that a lot of people seem to use. I don't really feel the necessity to input everything that I eat throughout the day or keep track of my water. I can do that. I don't need a app to do that for me. So I just use the alarm on my phone. You know, I have my first feeling at seven and I go into my phone, 9.30, 12, 2.30, 5, 7.30. Turn them all on. That way, my 9.30 fueling um, time, the alarm goes off. If I'm loading the porch or if I'm on the phone or if I'm talking to my daughter or, uh, you know, just getting ready for the day, I hit the snooze button. It goes off again in what, nine minutes? Why is every snooze button nine minutes? Um, it's like, oh yeah, let me go and get that. I can open a bar, take a bite, finish up what I'm doing. Perfect. Noon, I set it for just a few minutes before noon because you know, I like to, to have it on come at noon because then I get my headphones on, I go in the back room when I'm working and I can listen to my talk radio. Sorry, I hope that doesn't offend anybody, but I love Rush Limbaugh, just saying. Um, and that gives me time to, if I'm gonna make a soup, I can go in the office and get it ready, stick it in the microwave for a minute, hit that snooze button 10 minutes later. Oh yeah, let me go finish up that, that fueling, go, finish it up, sit down, eat it, or at least take a bite of it. A lot of times I do that. I'll just, I'll have the soup and I have it ready, but I've got a customer out here. I'll take a bite, come out, finish what I'm doing. It's hot anyway. Go back and by the time I can just close that door, sit down on my little sofa and eat it up. And I love, I, I love the hearty feelings. I um, love the chicken noodle soup. I like the penne and I like the chili and uh, those are, and on the mashed potatoes, I make a great mashed potato soup. You know, the recipe says cook it. I use, uh, I think, half a cup or three quarters of a cup, and I use a full cup and make it and stir it so that it's thinner than it would be for mashed potatoes. And then I add any kind of leftover protein from the night before. Like yesterday, I put a little bit of burger in it and uh, two tablespoons of low-fat shredded cheddar cheese, which is part of my protein or it's also a, I think it's a condiment as well but I didn't check that and that and I just speaking of my husband that was him calling twice I had to hang up on him but um my god now I forget where I am oh yeah the alarm um I find that to be just just fine I don't I don't use any kind of app I don't find it to be too difficult all right so you have your first feeling within the first hour of waking up you have your um, timings, very important, not before two and a half and no later than three. 310 is not your friend. So um, at least take a bite of it, take a sip of it, take a swallow of it, whatever. Anyway, the potato soup, one cup of water, cook it, cook it, cook it, keep stirring it. It'll be nice and um, it'll be a little bit, it'll be pretty thick on its own. I added the burger, I added the cheese. And when I picked up that spoon, that, that cheese was just like stretchy. It was mozzarella. Yeah, no, it was the cheddar cheese and it was so good. It was so good. Even everybody in here, when I'm cooking my fuelings, they're like, oh my God, your lunch smells so good. I know. I know. Let me tell you about my program. Um, the third cornerstone is weighing your protein and your vegetables on a digital food scale. Okay, so this old thing right here that you weighed your packages on for eBay, yeah, not going to work. Nor is a measuring cup. Get rid of your measuring cups. You're not gonna, you're not gonna use measuring cups in this program. You're gonna use a food scale, a digital food scale, because you want it to be pretty, you want it to be pretty precise, especially your vegetables. All right. So, um, for instance, burger, five ounces. You cook your burger. You know, if you cook it, bef if you weigh before you cook it, five five ounces. When you cook it, it's gonna be three, three and a half, four. Now you're shorting yourself. So you cook it, then you weigh it after you cook it. Burger, um, you know, I'll put it on a piece of paper towel a little bit, get some of that juice out, darn it. Um, and it's usually a burger and a half. Uh, white meat chicken, six ounces after you cook it. Shrimp, seven ounces after you cook it. So you cook it, uh, get some of the water out, 
and then you weigh it. Seven ounces of shrimp is a mountain of shrimp. So if you go, oh my God, it's a lot of shrimp, then you know you're doing it right. Just saying. And there's a trick to that too. So if you know you're going to have shrimp, um, you don't have to eat all of it at once. So say you make the shrimp risotto, the mock shrimp risotto, which is shrimp and laughing cow cheese, basically shrimp, laughing cow cheese, and cauliflower rice, and it is freaking delicious. Um, but it's a huge portion. So say you're having your, um, your lean and green at five, and you're eating this and you're like, I can't finish this. That's fine. Eat as much of it as you can, set it aside, and when you have your next fueling time, which would be 7.30, have your fueling, and have the rest of it then. See what I mean? Or if you've got some pre-planning, if you're good like that, you could make it the night before, the morning, whatever, take half of it for lunch with a fueling. So say, you know, my schedule is like seven, 9.30, noon. I could have half of it at noon with the fueling that I would normally have then anyway. 2.30, I'd have a fueling. Five o'clock when I was gonna have the lean and green, I'd have the other half of it by itself. So you can break it up. You can break it up into as many sittings as you want. Each of those is with the fueling, except the one time that it would be your normal lean and green time. So, uh, like the quiche, the quiche is pretty big. So if you're home and you're having the quiche at lunch, like if you know, you're working from home, have the quiche at lunch, you finish two thirds of it. You're like, Ooh, that's a lot, put it away. And when you have your next fueling at 2.30, whatever time you're gonna have your next one, pull it out. So say you have the, the, the rest of the quiche and you have the little chocolate bars, like a little dessert treat or the brownie. One of those times you have it without a fueling. I hope that makes sense. If you think about it a little bit, it will. It co it'll come to you. Um, so the most important thing I will tell you that I find on this program is weighing your vegetables. With your protein, you can, you can go under on your protein and you can make up the difference with cheese. Like, so if you make a burger and it's only four ounces, look at your dairy guide and find out how, you know, uh, a, I think it's half a cup of mozzarella is four ounces. Melt half a cup of mozzarella on top of that burger and that'll make up the, the other ounces. Because you can go over on your protein. You just don't want to short yourself on it. So, talk with your coach. <clears throat> vegetables. The most important part, the one thing most people screw up. Mm. So say you've made a burger and now you're going to have a salad. Oh, these messages coming in. Are you open yet? Um, you get your vegetable guide. This is my condiment guide. You get your vegetable guide out. It's four pages. Print them out, staple them together. All right, so you're gonna make a salad. Uh, you're gonna use romaine lettuce. You go down the list, you look at all the lettuces and there's romaine, romaine. Romaine lettuce, chopped. You go all the way to the very last column. Everything in the middle, don't even look at. Doesn't matter. Well, it does, but I mean, it'll say romaine lettuce chop and the next column is how you're gonna have it. You're obviously gonna chop it. Uh, one serving of romaine is 1.66 ounces. So you literally chop up your romaine, Put it on your food scale, get it as close to one point, take off a piece, put on a piece, get, boom. You want that to be as close to perfect as you can get that weight. That's why you use a digital, because it goes right down to the minute detail. 1.66 ounces. Put it on your plate, there's one serving of vegetables. Uh, cucumber, all right, so you go down and find cucumber. It'll give you two options, peel on or peel off. Uh, peel on weighs, I think at the top of my head, like 1.83, slice it, dice it, scoop the seeds out if you don't want to weigh the seeds. That gives you a little bit more. Uh, or just leave the seeds in. Da, 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 da. Put on the food scale. If you've got too much, take a sliver off. Just get it as close to perfect as you can. Put it on top of the lettuce. There's two vegetables. See what I mean? Third vegetable, tomatoes. You look at the tomatoes, it is going to say tomatoes raw from a can, tomatoes stewed from a can, tomatoes ripe fresh, 
uh, how much it weighs. Tomato, cherry tomatoes, how much it weighs. Tomatoes chopped, how much it weighs. So there's like five or six variations of tomatoes. So you look at the one that you're making and you follow it over the last column where it says how much it weighs. Did it put it on your food scale, weigh it, put it on top. Now you've got a burger and you've got three servings of vegetables. Boom, you are done. And again, if you're gonna cook these vegetables like broccoli, then you cook it, pat it dry, put it on the scale, weigh it to whatever it says one portion weighs. If your vegetable is gonna be all broccoli, you cook it, pat it dry a little bit, look at that number, multiply it by three, boom, and that's what you weigh on your food scale. You could do this ahead of time and you could take uh, a serving of vegetable with you. It's like you could cook up, you could slice up three servings of cucumbers. I love them, fabulous. You going to work, you're having the chili at lunch, have a serving of vegetable, have, a, have one of your cucumbers then on the side. You don't have to have all your vegetables at once. You just can't plug them into your day in between your feelings. If you're gonna have a feeling, you have a vegetable, or you have your lean and green, you have your vegetable. Breakfast, you can have a vegetable, it doesn't matter, but you have three servings of vegetables at the two and a half to three hour mark per day. Don't stick them in between. There's other things for snacks that you can stick in between. Don't even get me started on those. And then the last one uh, is water. They say the best water is half your body weight in water, at least 64 ounces. And a lot of people, not a lot, but a couple people have a hard time. I don't like water. Honestly, once you start doing this, your body's gonna be like, hella, yeah. And you get into a groove, you're gonna realize if day comes, you'll be like, God, I haven't had any water. I'm, I need some water. Mm. Get that over there. Um, 64 ounces, like my cup is a 20 ounce measuring, I mean, a 20 ounce cup. I know I filled that three times. I've got 60 ounces. I can chug another four. Plus I have a little bit in the morning when I first wake up that I don't even measure because I have like my medication. I'll take, I have water next to the bed, get up, take my pills, drink some water. Um, you know, and, and then I get started. Also, Optivia sells flavor infusers, not the flavors of, uh, not the uh, purposeful hydration flavor infusers, and they are calorie burn, and they have caffeine in them, but they are delicious, especially the strawberry lemonade and the berry. Girls, let me tell you, I have one 20 ounce thing of water. The second one I treat myself, because it's usually in the afternoon, um, I put that strawberry lemonade in there, and it, it flavors a good 20 ounce easy. And then the third one, I usually have it started by the time I'm on my way home, and it's great. Um, so a lot of times too, if, if I have a client who kind of like maybe gets to a little bit of a plateau, I'll say, let's get you some of those flavor infusers or calorie burn. It just kind of gets you mm, going again. But they do have caffeine in it. There's three that have caffeine and one that doesn't. So um, take a look at those. So when you're on the website and you go into the search, magnifying glass search bar, put in infuser and they'll pop up, they're very good. That's about it. So those are the four cornerstones. We have the first fueling within the first hour, weighing your protein and your vegetables on a digital food scale, not in measuring cups, get rid of them. Uh, your timings every two and a half to three hours, boom, 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 big deal, and drink your water. Honestly, you do that and once you get the condiments and healthy fats under your belt and those things, you'll crush it, crush it. In my opinion, again, my opinion, check your coach. All right, that's it for today. Hope you all are surviving this and uh, I hope everybody's states are opening without these crazy governors, may I say that out loud? And um, trust your fear, not your, trust your faith, not your fear. Did I mess that up or what? And we will talk to you all soon. Bye.